let's connect to Germany. Image.wildebeastmedia.com. Okay, I hit the login page. I should see that in the access log. So let me open that up again. And now you see uh, Hamburg here. Hamburg for the city, Germany for the country name, and DE for the country code. And let's include my whitelist US. And what do you know? So now I get 403 forbidden because I'm blocking my that country, which is Germany. So I'm not able to access it. Hey guys, so when we're self-hosting services, usually we don't really need to allow most IP addresses that are going to try to connect to our services, particularly if they're made public. And one of the mitigation techniques we can do is just to uh, block certain countries or all countries that are outside of the country that we're living in, that we expect to have users in. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be using Nginx and we are going to get the GeoIP2 module from MaxMind and just include that into our Docker Compose file for Nginx. And then I'm just going to show you how to uh, block a country. I'm going to get on my phone, try to access my image website. And um, we're going to try it from other countries using a VPN that I have a free trial for. So uh, let's dive into it. OK, guys, so in my last video, I showed you how to um, navigate to your image instance with Nginx going through Cloudflare Tunnel. So Cloudflare Tunnel just exposed our service to the Internet, but we're still funneling the traffic through our own Nginx reverse proxy. We have our Nginx container here. Now I have another repo that's going to be using the GeoIP2 module or the GeoLite module from uh, MaxMind. So let's go ahead and clone that and I'll show you how to create a free account with MaxMind so that you can pull and refresh the GeoLite databases daily, basically. OK, so I have the repository here. The main difference is that we're going to be building Nginx from a Docker file, and that's just so that we can include the GeoIP2 module in our Nginx build. It does not come with it. So for ease, we're just going to copy my repository here and let's clone that. So and we're going to do a git clone. Okay, so now we have an Nginx GeoIP2. So if we look at the Docker Compose file, same Compose file, except we are now building from a Docker file. So the container name is still Nginx. Still have all the same mounts, uh, but now we also have a GeoIP updater Docker container from MaxMind Incorporated. And that is now going to share a bind mount with Nginx so it can get that database. Take a quick look at the Docker file. So basically just pulling Nginx, um, getting uh, updating dependencies, and then just basically rebuilding. Um, Nginx with the GeoIP2 module. So don't really need to get into all of that. That's just the Docker file for building our Nginx container. The main thing that I have now is in the conf D folder. We now have a whitelist and a block list. So basically block list, if you want to block certain countries, you can do that by the country code or whitelist. And we can basically say it has to be a certain country. So in this case, the US. So let's look at the um, Nginx config here. So the main thing I need to add here is the GeoIP2 module. And then we'll just build this, make sure it works before we try doing the whitelist or block list. So I am going to copy my previous config file here. Just get all these proxy hosts for image, basically. So I just made a local wildebeest media and tail wildebeest media, and then just a normal image over Cloudflare tunnel. So paste that in here and save that. 
Okay, so now we can just minimize these server blocks so we can easily see all of them. The image over Cloudflare tunnel, that's the one that's gonna be publicly accessible. That's the one that we can actually look at the real IP address of someone who's connecting and determine what country that IP address is coming from. So I'm gonna stop my other Nginx. Let's CD into Nginx and do a sudo docker compose down. And then um, let me copy over the Cloudflare API token into my INI file. Let me also get my .env and copy these over for my own um, SSL certificates, which I don't really need for this tutorial, but just to make sure it all works. Let's also rename that to .env. Okay, and then we just need to go create that MaxMind account real quick. So let's go do that, maxmind.com. And you just go to sign in or create account. So you can get a free subscription for the GeoLite country and GeoLite city. And then I believe you just go down to, okay, you're just gonna go generate license key. That's gonna give you the a license key that you can use in the .env file. And then for your account ID, you'll be able to find that if you just click on my account. So now that I have both of those, I'm gonna fill these out. Okay, and the last config file that I need to add to that repo is a JSON log file. So let's create this real quick, jsonlog.conf. We're gonna put that in there. That way we can get our log files in JSON and we can also get the uh, city and country names. And then we, also just need to make sure that this is actually included in our Nginx configuration right up here. So I'll make sure that's already in the repo too. Now let's CD over to Nginx dash geo IP two. I will need to just get the certs again for Nginx to work properly. Um, even though I don't really need certs for the uh, this particular tutorial, but because I still have the, um, let's do a um, sudo docker compose up D and it is gonna actually run that build file. If you're gonna build it again, you need to put the um, double dash build to uh, tell it to basically rebuild that image if you make any changes to the Docker file. Okay, we can just check the statuses, to refresh, GYP2. So uh, Nginx exited because the cert bot probably hadn't finished yet. Uh, and then GYP updater will exit as soon as it updates the uh, database. So let's just run up again to get that Nginx started up. Okay, looks like Nginx is running okay so let's make sure we can still access our website and we can so that's good let's see what our logs look like okay it looks like i overwrote my json access log so let me throw that back in there and then we're going to restart nginx with just a hot reload like that and let's try accessing our page again. So back out of there, should get some, there we go, JSON access log. And now not seeing, oh, you know what? I think it's because we're not getting the real IP again. So I need to make sure that we're correctly setting the real IP for the Docker tunnel. So in this case, I need to actually do 21 like that. And then let's hot reload again. Okay. And then let's click on an image here, do a little request. Let's look at the JSON logs. Okay. And now you can see that I am accessing from Colorado. I'm accessing from Denver and the country is the United States. And I can see the country code is US. So now indeed I am getting the geo IP data that I want. So let's have some fun and do another country. So, okay, I'm going to open up a VPN that I have a trial for and let's connect to 
Germany. I'm in Germany and now I'm going to go to image.wildebeestmedia.com. Okay, I hit the login page. I should see that in the access log. So let me open that up again. And now you see uh, Hamburg here. Hamburg for the city, Germany for the country name, and DE for the country code. So now let's see what happens if I whitelist uh, my block. Let's go to my server block here. And then I'm going to go to not my local or tail scale, but my Cloudflare tunnel. And let's include my whitelist US here. So we're basically saying we only want to include whitelist US exclude others. So we're just including that one file. And if I look at that file, it's basically just saying, hey, if the GOIP2 data country code does not equal us then we're just returning a 403 okay so let's hot reload that and let's refresh the page and what do you know so now i get 403 forbidden because i'm blocking my that country which is germany so not able to access it now let's remove the whitelist let's remove that and let's reload again okay and now my phone it should work again let's try changing to the uk okay so i'm on the uk i'm gonna refresh the page so now if i look at my access log scroll down and you can see now that i'm in the united kingdom i'm in london the country code is gb so let's see what happens if i try to blacklist that country so i'm gonna go to my block list here and then i have a whole bunch of countries here it's just a like regular expression so let's just add gb to that list of country codes. I have Russia and China and Iran in here. Let's look at that block list. And now we're gonna come in here and just do block list. Change that to block list, save, and then hot reload. Okay, let's see if I can refresh the page. And I can't, I'm getting a 403 forbidden. So there, we, um, have successfully whitelisted certain countries. Or we block listed certain countries. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like it if you did. I am gonna be doing more stuff with Nginx and the GOIP2 module. Specifically, I'm gonna be creating a Grafana Loki dashboard so that you can really see who all is connecting to your services. You gotta remember that your reverse proxy is kind of your last gateway to your applications that you can uh, block unwanted or malicious uh, actors from your services. So I hope that I've made it easy for you with my GitHub repository so you can just clone these and get started with uh, Nginx and GeoIP2 module so that you have accurate IP data in your logs. So I hope to see you next time, guys. I'll see ya.